climbing with Latoya and yes, I'm your girl Latoya and today I have with me my dearest friend Tiffy from Life with Tiffy. Hi, Go guys. and check out her video guys. Now, as you saw in the title, we're going to look at some model house units at Holbeck Manor in Old Harbor, St. Catherine. Woohoo! Yes guys, these units are built by Chemtech Development and Constructions Limited. So if you're looking for a house to purchase in Jamaica, especially in Old Harbor, you can tune in to this video. Well, you already tuned in. But guys, you have to hurry because these units go fast like hot bread. Like phase one and two are already out. So it's only phase three. No, they have three model houses. They have the Citadel, the Monarch, and the Vista. They're not in the order, but you're going to explore this whole store with us. So guys, if you're new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up this video, post your comments, and share it. Now, without further ado, let's start our own store. You ready, TP? I'm ready. Let's do this. So guys this is the living area as you can see they have their little cute design over that section you have your windows and the roof is high enough because you know the higher the roof the cooler the environment and then this is a dining living area and then you have your TV set that you can put here I guess once you purchase your house you can decide whether or not you want to mount your TV onto your wall and then as you can see they have their dining table here. So this is a small space. However, you can dress it as how you want it to. And then that's the kitchen area. But we're going to go to the kitchen area after we view the bedroom. So now to my left, I have here the master bedroom. And this is it, guys. So the master bedroom has a king-size bed. It has the dresser. And it has the little center table there so that's the window and that's another window so this is a king size bed in this room and the king size bed isn't pushed up to the wall so i guess once you put it more to the wall you have more space right guys and then they have their closet area That's the closet area guys and then this room which is the master bedroom is at the front it has its bathroom so let's go into the room to see and guys as you can see there are two doors so there is one door leading to and from the master bedroom and then you have a second door that leads to and from the living room to the bathroom so I guess this bathroom area you have to share it with your visitor so that's a thing to consider. So this is the shower, guys. T 
toilet area and then this is the sink so the sink is directly behind this door so can you imagine that you're using the sink and somebody opens the door they hit you so you have to consider this so when you're purchasing the house and as I said this is a master bedroom and it comes with the bathroom that I think you have to share with persons who comes to visit. So this is an angle where I'm standing. So that's the entrance to the master bedroom and this is the entrance from the living room. Now going over to my right, we have the second room. And this second room comes with a bathroom as you see it. Now this is a smaller size compared to the master bedroom. Now this has the queen size bed. And it holds the dresser also that little table here and then it too also has the closet and let me tell you something guys the master bedroom i would rather this middle room than the master bedroom because the closet space is a lot wider you got a lot more storage space here and plus it has its own bathroom so let's go and view the bathroom guys so compared to the master bedroom this shower is a standing up shower Whereas the master bedroom shower, it has the bath. This is their toilet and their table, the sink. So, all right, guys, let us go and go into the kitchen. So, guys, here after exiting the second room, you have the pantry here to your left. So, this is a pantry, guys. And it's right next to your dining table here. Guys, let's go and view the kitchen area. So, guys, this is the countertop. It's a nice little kitchen area. As you can see, they have their two sinks. Oh, there's no water here. It's modern houses, don't come with water. <laughs> they have your cupboards here. The cupboards designs are just okay but they are cute and spacious and you have your six burner stove here so this can hold a six burner stove so this is perfect too then you have your fridge here and i guess this is the back but let's go and check out the washroom area so come, come. so this is the washroom area you can wash the clothes and then you can put your washing machine here Here's the plug. And then you also have this area where you can store your, you know, clothes items like your clothes, soap wash your clothes, your clothes spin, your little mop and bucket and all of that. You want to see outside around the back? Let's go around the back. Let's do this, guys. Oh, so you can see. Really, it's wide enough. So let's go around the back. <sighs> hey, Mars Drew, are you good? All right, sir. So, guys, this is the backyard area. And it's very spacious. It's like I put a clean and close line here. Right. And that side leads up to the front, so you can do the front. So, good enough, sir. So we are finished viewing our first unit. So now it's over to unit two. So let's go. So guys, we're entering the second unit and this is how they design this one. You have your living area to the left. On the other one, you had the living area to your right. This is where they hang their pictures, their TV. So this is a smaller unit. So 
I'm not sure if I'm getting the names correct, but I would post um, the names of the units while I go along. So let's us check out the first bedroom. So this is the bedroom to our right. So this is the one that's directly at the front of the house. And this unit is somewhat smaller than the one that we first visited. So this appears to be a queen size bed in this room. And guys, let me tell you, I like these dresser. It has this earth tone thing to it. And this is their closet area. So guys, I'm not sure if the house comes with the blinds, but as you can see at the window, they have their blinds here. So across, we're going to look at the other room. This is room two. This is also a queen size bed. They have their dresser here, the light switch. Then they have this closet area. And I can say right off the bat that this closet area is much more bigger than the one that we just saw in the first room. So I guess you can call it the his and her section. Oh, but when you come in, you go straight. <laughs> So it's just one closet, but it has the separation here. And I love this one because it has these areas where you can, you know, place your shoes, sneakers, heels, all that you want. So I like this room. I like this closet space. It's much bigger and it has the area where you can place your shoes. And for this unit, you have the bathroom area. So the bathroom separates the two bedrooms. So this has one bathroom. The other one that we looked at first has two bathrooms. So let's go in here to see how it looks. So as always guys, time to check the kitchen area. So guys, this is the kitchen area for the unit two. I think I'm getting a little mix up as it relates to the names of each unit. So as I go along with the video, I'm gonna post at the bottom of the video, the name of each unit that we go and tour, right? So now we're in the units, the kitchen for this unit, and I'm not sure what this is. So right here they have their pantry. Come take a look, guys. Yeah. But guys, may I tell you, may I live a friend. So may I know where them use pantry though. But may I Google and find what pantry is for and follow them as to all my lovely things in here. So Tiffany, why is it them store in the pantry? Food items, all yeah. your, your groceries. So now come on, Tiffany Yard guys, we'll go in the Tiffany pantry first, right? Mm, I was about to wait to my bathroom. <laughs> And guys, this kitchen area is smaller than the one that we first visited, but it still has two sinks. It has your cupboards here. The cupboard is at the bottom. Oh, the bottom can't come out. So I guess we're... Oh! <laughs> guys, they have the cupboards here. One more here. And they have some teeny tiny drawers for this section. I guess I see some people pack their season in drawers and their utensils, so you can do just the same. So you have three drawers here, three, and more cupboard over on this side. And this can also hold your six burner stove. I think I like this setup a lot better than the other one. What do you think? 
and a smaller fridge. We don't want a tiny fridge, we want a big old fridge. Especially at Tiffany Yard and me coming over. Come on, know why my yard is involved. <laughs> and guys, this is the wash area. So the difference I observed with the first unit, it has the little space where you can put your mop and your towel and all of that. Here it doesn't have it. It will have the sink, and I guess you can put your machine here. And then this is around the backyard. So you want to see around the backyard? Let's go. Why not? See the backyard for the person. Why not? Let's go and view the backyard. Guys, look at this. So, in order to go around the back, you have to close this door first to open the back room. I'm back. So, let's see around the back. Woo! Backyard is bigger. This backyard is much bigger. So, that's where we were at, guys. Show them, Tippy, show them. Right, and we're here. So this is around the back. Right, I think this unit gives you a more larger yard space than the first unit. So, one more unit to go, guys. Let's go. I'll see you at this unit. Hello. Let's go, guys. Come, come. So, guys, I think this unit is called the Monarch unit. The ceilings are very high. That's a plus. And to my right, we have the living area. As you can see, they design it in this particular way. And then from the living here area right here, you have the wall. My concern is I'm not sure where I'm going to put the TV. Right, I guess the TV can go somewhere right here, but this is the living area, and that's the dining table at the back. But guys, we're going to go into the first bedroom, which is to our left, and this is the master bedroom. Guys, this is so gorgeous. So as you can see, this is a king-size bed, and you still have a lot of space. The ceiling is really high and you have this large, you know, so this master bedroom comes with its own bathroom and guys, this is what I'm talking about, modern nice standing shower. As you can see, so it only has the glass halfway here. Then you have the toilet. And then you have the sink. And the sink comes with the cupboard that you can pull here. I'm not sure if you can pull this out. Right. So you can pull this out to store items in. Yes, guys. So this is the master bedroom. And let me show you the closet area. So it's right next to the bathroom. Ooh. And it's a walk-in closet, guys. And it is really high also. But one thing I noticed with this closet area, it doesn't have any light switch. So I'm not sure why it doesn't have any light switch, but I'm not seeing one. So this may be a challenge when you want to go in the night to go into your closet. I, I'm assuming maybe the light is bright enough to assist within the closet. But it doesn't have any light. So this is a master bedroom, guys.
let's close it so now we're going to go across and this is to the right as you enter so as you can see here we have a bathroom here and then you have a room to our left and then you have a room to your right so the monarch unit comes with three bedrooms and two bathrooms one of the bathrooms is in the master bedroom and then the second bathroom is where you have the living area so we're going to view the first room on this section to our right and this is very spacious too as you can see here they have a queen size bed that holds in this room to include your dresser your little table there the window and then you have the closet to this section and this closet space is also a good size however my concern is that it takes up a lot of space of the bed so the closet is really close to the bed guys but it is a lovely design then we're going to go to the other room that is to our left. So out of all the three rooms in this Monarch unit, this room is the smallest. However, it still can hold a queen size bed. Your chest of draw. And it has the closet area. And this closet area is also large enough. now time to go and check the second bathroom the light switch around the outside and this is the bathroom guys so the bathroom in the master bedroom has the standing shower with the glass frame however this has a bath tub So that's the second bathroom guys so now to view the dining area and the kitchen let's do this so guys now it's time to view the dining area and the kitchen as you can see i'm really hot i guess these are model hosts so they're not on the east so i'm kind of hot but let's go guys let's view the dining area so this is the dining area and it is separated from the kitchen itself so the dining area is basically in the living room so you can sit and have your dinner, breakfast, lunch, while viewing your family and friends in the city over there watching TV. So, <laughs> yes guys. So come, let's go and view the kitchen area. So guys, this kitchen area is actually larger, has a lot of space, has more counters. It can also fit your six bird stove, your <laughs> two door fridge, I'm coming to feel you on. Food. No, this have a good stuff. <laughs> and guys, they have their cupboards, storage items. They still have two sinks, and this is a nice little fancy, you know, pipe. All right, now much it's so cute. Oh, now much it up. And guys, this kitchen has a lot of cupboards. I must say. So you know, I guess this unit is more for a larger family. Or if you just want more space, extra room to do your vlogging, your YouTube video, you can have an extra room. Why must the extra room? Extra, don't it? So guys, this is the kitchen area. So let's go now to see what washroom area there is. There has to be a washroom area, right? So let's go. So there's this door here. I'm a tinker on the back. What can I run about, guys? At a washroom area. And this is a larger washroom area, I must say, guys. So you can do your washing, your wash your clothes there. But if you come over, it would be laundry. Okay, I'm going to bring my laundry. <laughs> your washing machine here. And guys, this space is actually larger than the other units that we looked at. Guys, and these windows. Oh! Woo! I'm going to see. I'm going to see my auntie. Nice cool breeze are coming, guys. And this is where you exit to go around the back. So let's see all the back of you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so guys, we're going to walk around. Why? The door can't open. 
all is there. Who's walk around Tiffany? Tiffany, my mama shows people left door, door stop. No, Let one us turn. walk around Tiffy. This one turn. You don't want to walk around? So guys, you could have shown you around about the kind of backyard home, but guess what? We can walk around the house. So let's go and look around the back. So let's do this. Oh, love. So guys, oh, let's go around the back so you can walk at both sides. But I want you to the side to the right. Maybe a club. <laughs> Down, locked. Guys, I have to go back in so long. So, hey guys, we're back. And if you have reached this part in the video, let me say watch everything. And then now it's time for our review. Mm -hmm. Now, the first unit we looked at is called the Vista. I thought it was called the Citadel. However, when I was viewing it, it felt more like a Vista because I looked at the pamphlet so it's called a vista <laughs> so the like, vista I like, I know, I'm just right. <laughs> so the vista is consists of two bedroom and mm -hmm. two bathrooms now we have our views and we share the same views because while we were there we were like what so tiffany what are your views on the vista unit all right so for me i liked the space in the living area i didn't mind the kitchen but i didn't like where the pantry was placed because it's almost conflicting or confusing because then you could use right, it for was something separated else. from yeah um, I'd, i would have preferred if it had faced the kitchen right. i liked the washroom area with the little cabinet to store things because sometimes you know when i think back in my home those little extra stuff that you use and i, I don't even keep them in the washroom because there's nothing to put, put them, them on, on right. so i like the fact that they had areas to put your soap your bleach you know your mops and buckets and stuff i also didn't mind the master bedroom but i believe it could have been bigger but then again each unit is different so right. but that unit it was an okay master didn't like the bathrooms at right. all right for the master especially because i mean if you have guests over they would have to use your personal bathroom yeah, and that which reminds is the master me of my bedroom. house no i don't right like so i think the middle room has their own bathroom which is lovely but then the master bedroom the bathroom you have to share it right yeah and I, the way the door was positioned yeah, yeah, if yeah, i yeah. was there washing my face and then you end up one cloof in it drop a cloof in my head <laughs> me drop a ground so basically the vista is okay but it's not the best for me that's my review basically the second one that we viewed is called the citadel that is the two bedroom and one bathroom unit yeah. no uh that one i liked a lot more than the first one well i know for me i prefer the spacing in the first one as opposed to the second one but then i liked the the bathroom the setup too. and the, the pantry. pantry for that one was lovely yeah it was i preferred large that one. enough right and i like that the pantry was incorporated with the cupboards so right. the pantry color and the cupboards they, they they were in sync right so i liked that i also liked in the second one if i'm remembering care properly that the island separated the living room from the kitchen i didn't mind that i liked that right. and the third one that we viewed is called the monarch the monarch is three bedrooms two bathroom units the monarch kind of tricky though you know what do you mean tricky I like it, but then I don't really like it. If you understand, no, me. no, please, guys, say, you understand. Please, I like something, but you don't really like something. If you get what me, I mean, like it never have no pantry. Yes, I have no pantry. It, have pantry. it never have no pantry, guys. When I go store my things, then in the cupboard, in the cupboard, yeah, but still. well, yeah, pantry is an upgrade to me because that's taken from an international design, and I, and I like that. And I think to let me tell you, overall, for the three houses, I liked. I like the bathroom in the in the in the master room for the for monarch. The monarch right. However, my challenge with those bathroom setup where you have a half glass is that not everybody knows how to maneuver, and Jamaicans tend to be differently. 
so I can just see my bathroom being wet. So if <laughs> they had like another closing door, right, that would I would have appreciated that. And what I do I think some of the bathrooms need to be more modernized too. Like the bath thing, like that not really keep anymore. Or even if you get a bath and a more modern looking yes, bath. Sophisticated. And in my problem with the bathrooms overall and they're that's tiny. just me. They're small. Right. My bathrooms are bigger than that right now and I cannot to readjust to that small bathroom would be a little challenging for yeah. me. And I noticed too in the houses that there was nowhere when I was looking, especially in the Monarch, I don't see where I'd put a microwave. It can't keep. Yeah. So all in all, I really like all the hosts. I like the height of the roof. Yes, It definitely. was really high. Definitely. So you know, the I'm higher tall. the roof, the cooler it is. And the Monarch too, the living space is so tiny. I don't even know where I would put my TV. I, when I, looked I was at looking it, at yeah and, then, yeah, and the fact that they didn't put a TV in their money if they're having the same um, challenge. If you tell it because the other two units had the <laughs> TV. Why don't exactly. put a TV in the Monarch? I know it's going to be challenging. But yeah. guys, you can go and visit the Monarch, the Citadel, and the Vista whenever you have the time. I heard that phase one and two are already sold out, so it's only phase three that is left. So these houses are going like hot bread. So if you want to get your pick, come down here as quick as possible. Do your little thingy majiggy and get everything Always started. Guys, thanks. Thank you for sticking through this video with me, your girl Latoya and Tiffy from Life with Tiffy. Please go and check out her video. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up this video, post your comments and share. And guess what guys, I'll see you next week for another video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!